We read the script and we were like, oh, Charles and Josh. When I read it in the script, I was just like, F yes. <laughs> it's funny, I read it and my, my immediate reaction was like, oh, I gotta I had to ask Darren to change that. That just can't happen. I was like, nah, it's just wrong. No. When we were shooting this, every single take, I would get a little closer to Peter, like a little, like, and I swear to God, the last take, I was probably like a millimeter away from his nose. And he was like, Nico, can you please just relax? I was like, yeah, 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 bro. Yeah. He got closer and closer and closer to my face. Yeah, I mean, really, like the fight coordinators were like, dude, chill. Well, also, I have to like jump to punch him too, you know? He really had to punch up. I thought it was actually kind of a great moment for them and a great moment for Josh. Josh punches Charles in the face. You can't really blame him. He's impulsive, that kid. He asked Liza to marry him. He goes with his impulses, and that's in his heart, and his heart was hurt. So I get it, although I'm more of a nonviolent person. Josh is a passionate, spontaneous character. It's not like he responded out of character. I think that was totally uncalled for, and Josh is just being immature. I felt bad for Charles. We shot for two days at the Pound Ridge house. We were up in like Sleepy Hollow in New York. This beautiful, beautiful home. And we had two beautiful days. We got super lucky. Real talk, shooting the Pound Ridge stuff was the hardest days on set for me. I was exhausted at the end of the day. We were in like a big giant field at a beautiful house, but it was so hot. And then I had like a short onesie on and I was in a potato sack all day long, just itching my legs and hopping. I'm the only one that had to hop all day long. Everybody else like falls fast and then they get in the fight and I'm still hopping across the lawn. You have a bunch of actors around and you have the word sack and it was just mayhem. My sack is dirty, my sack is sweaty, my sack smells, my sack just ripped open. Is that your sack? No, that's my sack. Yeah, I know that's good my sack because it has stains on it. Yo, that sack's heavy, bro. It was endless. Why would Josh have hit Charles? Charles and I had a moment in the Hamptons. And Josh saw, and that's why he didn't propose. Holy shit, Liza. I know. Did you sleep with him? No. Keep it that way. The Charles thing is like another huge piece of information. Which is one other big lie that I hadn't told her. Or it just was a lie, I guess. I just it was, didn't tell her about it. Which again, I think is another huge thing between Liza and Kelsey. What Liza didn't say is I'm in love with Charles and Charles is in love with me. She told Kelsey but didn't tell Kelsey. It's not the whole truth. Man, Liza lies, which I get, but it, it's intense. Kelsey gives her advice like don't sleep with him whatever you do. And obviously we know at some point she's gonna sleep with him. It doesn't end well. Although we don't know, do we? Hopefully we'll find out in 16 seasons from now when it's called Actually Pretty Old. That's the name of the show then. <laughs>